This video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. Get cheap game time as well as other workout products at affordable prices. Click the link in the description below to check it out. Hello guys, this is Doron's Movies and today I will be talking about the Toren and how powerful they are covering their history, characteristics and achievements. So without further ado, let's get into the lore. Long ago, the Toren were once known as the Yongol. They lived in peace under the tutelage of the demigod Cenarius. Due to their benevolent nature, they grew weary of having to share their hunting grounds with the trolls, so they decided to search for new territory in the southern part of the continent. Unfortunately, they received a lot more than they had bargained for. The Mogu Empire had enslaved them, and impressed by the Yongol, they had flesh shaped the race. Their strength and intelligence were increased and they were also a lot more aggressive. For generations they suffered as slaves, but during the Pandaren revolution they had joined the fight. Freeing themselves from the Mogu and having lost a lot of their heritage, they split apart. One group would go north, becoming known as the Tonka, one group remained, retaining the name Yongol, and one would go towards the Well of Eternity, becoming known as the Torrent. Once again they had reunited with their teacher Cenarius and had returned to their ways of nature. Eventually the Sundering would hit, so being split apart from the rest of the Yongol, the Toren would become their own race. They participated in the war against the demons and for the next 10,000 years really just survived in harmony with nature. After millennia the mighty Toren reached a pretty dire state. They roamed the plains and split into many tribes, only uniting to fight their common enemy, the Centaur. With the help of the arriving orcs and troll, they were finally able to deal with the threat. Over time, most of the scattered tribes united under Cairn Plathoof and they had reclaimed their lands. They settled mainly in Mulgor, forming the city of Thunder Bluff. With a civil war, burning legion invasions and many other threats, the Toren were able to survive and thrive. So with this very short history, what is the culture of the Toren like and what are their characteristics? The Toren are one of the biggest and physically most powerful races. Their height is debatable, but on average it is between 9 to 10 feet, which is significantly taller than almost any other race. They also weigh anywhere from 400 to 1000 pounds. They are large and muscular with bull-like appearance covered with fur. The Toren also possess horns of various shapes and sizes which can be used in combat. Their color can be anywhere from black and white to red or brown with a million different combinations. Now the game itself doesn't really do them any justice due to the limitations, but the Toren are incredibly large and powerful. A more accurate representation of the race is in Warcraft 3, the Toren are so massive that they often wield giant tree trunks known as Toren totems. Being hit by this weapon could obliterate almost any enemy smaller than them with just one blow and no amount of armor really is going to help you against a Toren totem. They also possess such force that they could shake the ground when they smash it. The skin of the Toren is also very hard, so they can withstand many blows, making them perfect warriors. Surprisingly, despite their looks, the Toren are actually a very peaceful and a noble race. Spirituality is their number one priority, with a large emphasis on reverence for nature and the respect for their elders. Due to their genetics, they are natural born warriors, but they only resort to violence when the situation demands it. Now, we have seen aggressive Toren that are kinda evil, but it is very rare and a lot of it is due to their Yongol history and flesh shaping. Outside of their class, every Toren seeks identity as both a hunter and a child of the Earth Mother. In this, they are very similar to the Orcs. They prove themselves by facing off creatures of the wilderness and hunting is their greatest honor. Even though hunters, they have multiple primary classes like the warriors, shamans 
and the Druids. Warriors are protectors of their people that utilize their natural strength and they are possibly the best race for warriors due to their brute force. On the other hand, the shamans keep in touch with their ancestors, increasing the spirituality of their people as well as keeping the balance with the elements. Druids are very similar to them in this regard, however instead they focus on nature and keeping harmony with the earth mother. They help preserve the wilderness and in turn they are able to utilize their powers not only in combat but also for the survival of their people. The Tauren are very tribal with a great connection to their ancestors and respect for their elders. They mainly live in buildings called long houses and great tents in generally small numbers. Loyalty family, tradition and honor are the most important aspects of the Tauren people. As tradition dictates, many of them have to go to rites of passage for various purposes, but through them they prove their worth and earn the respect of their people. When it comes to mounts, the Kodos are their go-to mount. They hold great respect for these beasts and due to their resilience and fearlessness as well as strength, they make for appropriate war mounts. Outside of just riding, they also utilize them to transport supplies. When it comes to flying, much like the orcs, they utilize the Wyvern, which they consider sacred. As one of the oldest races on Azeroth, the Tauren have an incredibly rich history even though most of it has been forgotten. Still, they have survived for thousands of years and even though they had faced extinction, they are now stronger than they ever were. Due to their genetics, the Tauren are possibly the best race when it comes to warriors as well as druids. Alright and that is all I have for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps out and keeps all the content going. Thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time.